Today we're talking about North Carolina Standard 10A6, which is adding and subtracting within 20 using strategies such as counting on, making 10, decomposing a number leading to a 10, using the relationship between addition and subtraction, and using a number line, and creating equivalent but simpler or known sums. Now at the beginning of the year, students are using strategies such as drawing a picture, uh, 10 frames, or using their fingers. Uh, as the year goes on and our problem types get a little more complicated and our numbers get a little higher, we want students to show that they understand numbers, um, using number sense to solve problems using these types of strategies. So I'm gonna go through each strategy and show you what that would look like for a problem. Problem solving strategy is creating equivalent but simpler or known sums. For this one, if we have a problem of 15 minus 3 equals something, they could take a simpler fact, like 5 minus 3 equals 2, so that, that now they add the 10 on and they know 15 minus 3 equals 12. Another way that they could use this strategy is for, say, a doubles or near doubles fact. If the problem was 8 plus 7 equals something, they could say, well, I know 7 plus 7 equals 14, so 8 plus something, 8 plus 7 equals 15. With the using number, a number line strategy, students would put it on a number line. They could use a number line that went all the way from 1 to 20 or 1 to 10, or they could just use the part of the number line that they need to solve the problem. For 13 minus something equals 7, they could start at 7 and jump until they get to 13, which would be six jumps, so they would know the answer is six. They could also solve this type of problem by jumping backwards. They could start at 13 and jump back until they get to seven, which would also be six jumps. Using the relationship between addition and subtraction would look like this. If a student has a subtraction problem that says nine minus five equals something, they could think addition and say, I know four plus five equals nine, so 9 minus 5 equals 4. It could work the opposite too. If there was an addition problem, such as 5 plus 4 equals 9, they might say, well, I know 9 minus 5 yeah. equals 4. So I know 4 plus 5 equals 9. The second strategy is making a 10. In this strategy, students take one of the numbers. It's usually a higher number, like 7, 8, or 9. And they'll break apart the second number into whatever the partner number to nine is to make a 10. So for this number eight, we needed a nine and a one to make 10. So the one goes here. Students now have nine plus one is 10 and whatever is left over added to that is an easy fact for them because they know teen numbers. So 10 plus seven is 17. When students are counting on, they'll take a, an addition sentence, such as 11 plus three equals something. They'll put 11 in their head, and then they'll count on three numbers to get to the answer. This problem solving strategy also works with counting back. If the subtraction problem were 11 minus three, they would start with 11 and count backwards to get to their answer. So those are the problem solving strategies that we'd like students to be able to use by the end of first grade. They are strategies that can be used with any type of problem, either adding or subtracting, no matter where the missing add end or subtrahend is in the problem. And these are strategies that just move their, their, the students thinking along from drawing pictures and tense frames, those concrete strategies into more abstract strategies using true number sets.